What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. So I've been super busy this week and somehow managed to rapidly run out of time for actually making a Shark Bites episode. <laughs> As a result, today's episode might end up being a slightly shorter one, but I still think you'll enjoy it. I know you've all been enjoying the slightly longer episodes recently and I've been trying my best to get them closer to that 10 minute mark for you all. Although have no fear, I promise in the next few weeks there will be a few more longer ones for you all. Also, check out my new plants in the background. I finally decided to get some more decent quality plants, although I am of course a notorious plant killer as most of you will know from previous seasons of Sharp Bites. So place your bets in the comments to see how long these ones will last. <laughs> Anyway, in today's video, I wanted to respond to a question that I've been asked a few times here on Shark Bites and also while I've been out and about talking about sharks. And that question is, why do sharks breach? But to answer that question, we first got to know which shark species like to launch themselves out of the water. And in reality, there are actually only a few shark species that have been recorded as breaching in the wild. Great whites, makos, spinners, threshers, black tips, and basking sharks have all, to my knowledge at least, been recorded as breaching. Yep, that's right. You heard it correctly. I did say basking sharks. So stick around to the end of the video to find out a little bit more about that one. And there's probably a bunch more shark species out there that do breach, but it's just we haven't seen them doing it yet. Also, there's loads of ray species that have been recorded as breaching, but today we're just going to be focusing in on the sharks. So the reasons these sharks breach are likely pretty different from one another. And one of the most obvious ones is prey capture. Take the great white, for example. These guys are notorious breaches as this is how they catch their prey. Great whites are often ambush predators, sneaking up on seals from below and hitting them at such a pace they end up yeeting themselves out the water. Researchers found that great whites tend to start their ascent at around 30 meters deep, accelerating between 20 and 25 miles per hour. They can reach their intended target within about 2.2 seconds of starting that ascent and have a success rate of around 50%. I just can't get enough of watching footage of great white sharks breaching though. Just look at that. <laughs> It's also probably the case for spinners, threshers, and makos, who again will be breaching to capture their fishy prey species. Spinners, as their name suggests, launch themselves out of the water, spinning around and snapping their jaws in an attempt to try and catch as many fish as possible. And it's always an impressive sight to see. And with makos, we didn't really have any hard evidence of them breaching as a hunting strategy until a few years ago when this footage was captured of a mako shark launching itself out of the water to catch a fish. So hunting is probably one of the more obvious reasons as to why sharks breach, but what are some of the other reasons? Well, sharks have also been witness breaching when they're on the end of a fishing line. I think this could be some kind of last ditch attempt by the shark to try and free themselves from that line by using a breach to detach themselves. Although it's often difficult to tell whether that shark was initially hooked and was trying to free itself from the line, or it wasn't hooked and it was actually just trying to catch a fish on the end of that line. But I do think breaching to free themselves from a line is a plausible theory. Now, onto the types of breaching that are a little more difficult to explain. Earlier on in the episode, I mentioned that basking sharks breach out of the water and it's actually not that uncommon. It's been documented a number of different times and it was actually the topic of a study done by one of my University of Exeter colleagues, Jess Rudd. Jess and her team attached some tags to basking sharks up in Scotland and got some unbelievable data back. And with that data, they were able to see over 41 days, three different basking sharks that they tagged breached 67 times. So you can see it's not that rare for basking sharks to breach. Basking sharks are normally pretty slow swimmers cruising at around one kilometer per hour. But when they breached, they were hitting the surface at 20 kilometers per hour, which is pretty impressive for such a massive shark. What's pretty strange though, is that apparently they can do this multiple times in a row. It's not just a case of breaching and then having a little bit of a rest. It's again and again and again. One of the sharks that they were recording breached four times in 47 seconds. What? I think one of the most amazing things about Jess's study though is that they actually managed to capture a basking shark breach from the shark's perspective. So in this clip, you can see the basking shark begin to accelerate up towards the surface at some real pace before the camera starts to get a bit shaky, but you can definitely tell that shark has launched itself up and out of the water. So Jess and her team got to thinking and were trying to figure out why these massive sharks were launching themselves completely out of the water. Because realistically, this is an incredibly energetically costly thing for such a large animal to do, especially considering they're doing it multiple times in a row. So it's gotta be important somehow. And it turns out they think the breaching could be a way of communicating with other basking sharks. The impressive splash created from a breach by one of these chunky sharks is definitely going to be detected by another basking shark. Perhaps it could be related to mating, but Jess and her team have said they want to do some more research first before they come to those conclusions. If they can find some differences in breaching rates between males and females, it could be a sign it's got something to do with mating. But for now, we're just going to have to wait and see. So there we go, guys. Sharks breach for a number of different reasons. And in some shark species, we're still trying to figure out why. Classic shark scientist response there for you. 
Why do you think these basking sharks are breaching? Do you think it's got something to do with mating? Are they trying to remove pesky parasites from their bodies? Or are basking sharks doing this because it's simply fun to do? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below where you can stay up to date with all our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.